Hi, this is Gary Kay. I'm here at the Almo E4 Experience in Southern California. I'm here with Chuck Espinoza, famous trainer galore in the AV industry. Um, hey, first off, how are things going at Avixa? Uh, everything's going great. We're all getting geared up for the show, getting really excited. We've got a lot of new things on the docket for this year's show. A lot of new surprises, some uh, experiential rooms, some active learning rooms for the first time. So I think it's going to be really well received. Um, another thing we're doing is uh, going through all the rooms and, and we want to be able to demonstrate during our education how the education actually applies. So this year we're going and getting all the screens so they meet discus and they meet pisker and and testing the rooms for acu all the standards that we are teaching in class we want to be able to demonstrate with the systems that we're actually using in the occ so these rooms will be designed to the standards that you've been teaching people to design rooms for for years yeah that's it that's a cool idea and that's cool because you know, obviously, this is a captive environment. We got all the AV professionals that everyone that is anyone goes to Infocom. Um, of course, it's, you can see all that Infocom show.org. Uh, Vixa, of course, the head head uh, company that runs Infocom, kind of rebranded themselves over the last year. You've been part of that rebranding, but the education's all stayed the same the whole time. I mean, education has been ramped up considerably in the last 10 years, uh, but this, this rebrand gives you a chance to kind of target two different markets at the same time, doesn't it? We do. We're targeting a uh, uh, our main core market, which is our tier one AV people, the people who are directly connected with AV, but we're also targeting uh, people, our circle two, the people who aren't directly connected to AV, but uh, touch AV on a daily basis. Your IT managers who are now in charge of AV departments who really don't know what to do with the AV except, hey, let's put a projector and a screen in. Uh, we're trying to reach out more towards those uh, people in, the, in those industries and, and get them more involved with the things that they have to do with AV. Um, another thing we're doing, uh, our education has actually started to change just a bit. We're looking into more things like one-day courses vice a three-day course. Uh, it's great to take a three-day course on design, but if you're an audio guru, you don't really want to stick around for that whole audio day. So you just want video and project process. You could just take those by themselves or just one. So we've started to do some little things. Uh, I've got Believe it or not, I'll let in on a little secret. We've got some AR and VR stuff in the pipeline that we're working on now. It'll be, it might be a year, but we're working on some different classrooms, different environments like that. Um, you know, you got to stay up to date with the education that everyone else is doing. So, with the rebrand and the the whole change and um, how we're looking at the industry, we want to make sure that we change our education to keep up with with the industry. Yeah, and, and speaking of which, you're here at the Almo E4 show. You've done a couple of uh, classes here. Talk about um, what you thought of the attendees here at the E4, and uh, you're obviously going to be involved with it in the fall. What do you think of the event in general? I think the event's great. Uh, it's great to be able to come out and talk to the attendees that normally we wouldn't get a chance to talk to because they're stuck in the office or they don't have time for a three-day course or they can't always come out. So being able to come out for one day and get a little bit of education for an hour or two and look at different product, it's a great chance to w reach a broader audience. Yeah, and um, you can see all the classes. Actually, the handouts from Chuck's classes are available at raypubs.com slash e4. Um, Chuck has, has uh, got a tremendous following online. Uh, I'll uh, make sure to do a shout out to your, uh, to your uh, t Twitter following and to your uh, LinkedIn. Obviously, it's easy. Just just type in Chuck Espinoza, but how do we find you on Twitter? On Twitter, on Facebook, I'm at Mad Sound Guy, all one word, at Mad Sound Guy. And you can just look for that crazy bacon picture. And yep. Mad Sound Guy. And then finally, um, uh, it, it, overall, I mean, you're, you're, if, if, if someone has an idea for a class they want to pitch to you or they have a concept they want to run by you, how would they get in touch with you at uh, Vix? Uh, you can get in touch with me at C. Espinoza, C-E-S-P-I-N-O-Z-A, at avixa.org. And uh, really, any time of the year you have an idea, I encourage people to reach out. We have a call for presenters that's during a specific time, but it's always good to bounce ideas off and say, hey, I really want to do this at the show. How do I go about doing it? I can give you the full laydown. If I'm not available, one of the other instructors, I can send it to them, Marcus Yarborough or Tom Kerr, and they can help you out as well. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And of course, uh, check out all the E4 videos we've shot at raypubs.com slash E4.